Ahsoka's second episode, part two, Toil and Trouble, just added two Knights of the Old Republic characters to the Star Wars franchise's revamped Disney era canon. References to major figures in both the original groundbreaking 2003 KOTOR video game and its 2004 sequel, The Sith Lords, are peppered throughout Toil and Trouble, much to fans' delight. They weren't so much as major in your face references like some other Star Wars. Wars shows attempt at fan service, but rather needed a bit more digging to understand. The assassin droid Ahsoka and Hera trace to the shipyards of Corellia halfway through the episode is identified as being the same model as HK-47, HK who served as part of the Ebon Hawks crew in both KOTOR and the Sith Lords. That's already a pretty fun reference because, you know, droids are awesome, but on top of that, there's the massive hyperdrive ring glimpsed by before the credits, which Morgan names the Eye of Scion. That has to be a shout out to one of the Sith Lords supporting antagonists, Darth Scion. That's really fascinating that Ahsoka is bolstering KOTOR material, but not necessarily surprising given that Dave Filoni has definitely done it before. But as we try to navigate official Star Wars canon, it's always interesting to see what makes the cut. We know Lucasfilm has its ongoing efforts to integrate the KOTOR franchise into its overhauled vision for Star Wars continuity, and it's done so by not just sprinkling in references in their TV shows, but also through comics, reference books, action figures, etc. I wonder just how far these references will go? Do you think we could ever see a live action series set in that time frame? Or heck, maybe just a KOTOR live action film? I know we have an ancient Jedi movie in the works from James Mangold, at least we do at the time of writing this, as Star Wars movies are announced and cancelled quicker than Yoda would lose at a spelling bee. But could the future of Star Wars lie in the past? I think we've pretty much mined every conceivable viewpoint from this 30-ish year main time period, and maybe to really reinvigorate the franchise, we should step into the past a bit more. I wouldn't be opposed, would you? What other big KOTOR references would you like to see in Ahsoka? Or would you prefer we stop referencing those games altogether? I mean, I don't think that, but maybe some of you do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching CBR. May the force be with you.